what the heck is going on guys how's everybody today we are back with another summoners work chronicle video we have big big updates incoming not only are we getting galagus runes but we also are getting guild raids we are getting uh gear swappy thingies i'll explain more when we read through it but you're not going to want to miss this update read through i'm going to be trying to be super quick for you guys so you guys can watch the whole thing but we got a lot coming uh on the 9th so tonight tomorrow morning ish um so you're going to want to be ready for that be sure to like comment subscribe as always but let's get into it so first here is literally just the coupon event here's the coupon okay pause right now to get it okay now let's get into the good stuff. <clears throat> so, it's saying that it would like to inform us about the update that's coming on the 9th. So we already knew this update was coming. We knew we were getting Galagos runes. But the first thing they're going to show here in the key update is Guild Raid. So Guild Raid content, I don't believe was on Korea server yet either, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is? Yeah. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> so it has already been launched on Korea server, so about a month then it's been on Korea server, eh? Uh, at least two weeks. I, I've seen someone get their like her like two weeks ago. Okay, so there. I'm sure that um, storyteller probably has a video. Oh, we couldn't find a video. No, of yeah, storyteller. We looked, yeah. So maybe he's not posting because it's guild content. But yeah, anyway, this is something new that is coming to the game. So it says guild raid is a co-op content that up to 24 players can play per level. Uh, guild raid is seasonal content, so the new season is going to be every week. Uh, and then it says guild raid can only be participated by guild members that joined the guild at the start of the season. Uh, and sorry, it says a new guild raid season will take place after the tallying period at the end of the season and a break. So I'm wondering if this is going to be like every other week. I'm not sure. Or if it's just going to be a few hours. Um, we will have to see. But yeah. It's a new season every week. So it's going to be bi-weekly, maybe? So it'll be... Guild raid season, off week guild raid season. Yeah, we'll right have there. to we'll have to see. They didn't explain it a hundred percent in here. But um one thing that is really important, especially for you alliance leaders out there, is you want to make sure that um you have your guild set up for guild raids before tomorrow. Um so make sure if you have an actives or whatever you Try to deal with that, but, and then it says Guild Raid here can be uh, entered via the Guild Lobby. You can proceed to the next level once you clear the previous levels. Um, and then it go it explains... It says levels cleared will be maintained in yeah. the new season, so does that mean that, like, if you clear up to level 5, that it'll, like, start at level 5 at the next season? So I, I already read it somewhere. It's gonna, it's gonna say it here, but it does okay. say that, um, it's gonna say that you can keep uh once you've cleared it you you keep it cleared essentially um i'm not sure where it says that. oh here uh each level of guild raid can be entered twice there's an individual time limit when you enter you must start from level one when participating for the first time but from the next seasons on you can choose to enter at any level you have cre cleared in the previous season uh parties will be created in guild raid based on the order of entry each party can have up to 12 members clear uh Clear rewards, contribution rewards, and end-of-season rank rewards can be obtained per level through the guild raid. And then, yeah, um, as Chetta kind of already mentioned, there's going to be uh, five-star uh, heart magician pieces for the light one. So we've already gotten the dark one from the monster storybook. Um, and then, yeah, now we're going to get the light one. So this is pretty cool. Um, I'm really excited for this. I'm really glad we're getting this so soon. I was not expecting. Yeah, they just put out a thing like two days ago that, New content that it was getting forward. delayed. And now, here it is. Yeah, I think we just put that video out like two days ago, I think, two or three days ago. Yeah. So, and then, uh, guys, of course, we know Galagos Runes is coming. We already knew about this from the, uh, whatchamacallit, the roadmap. Um, but so it says Galagos Runes will be added. Uh, unlock upon current quest White Castle. You can enter via Galagos Runes in the main menu. So there's going to be like a new menu spot for it. You must select at least 10 monsters for the team to match the entry requirements to proceed. Monsters that are locked cannot be changed until the end of season. So you're going to have to select your monsters at the beginning, it seems. This storyteller does have a video out about already. So I'm sure... Yeah, it's just him doing it. I don't know if he actually explained it. We kind of watched it. Yeah. But it's just nice if you want to see the content kind of before it comes out, right? And we're not going to have that forever, I don't think. So, so. it says... Uh... Recommended power level 300, and then it goes up. So I guess level 1-1 one, one will be 300k? Yeah, so it's... Right? And yeah. then it'll start going up from there? 
So it's gonna be like harder content right from the get go, right? Three hundred K is around where it's a little bit above the uh level fifteen rune dungeons. They're around that spot too. Yep. So it'll be a hard as those. And it says you can clear each stage to reach the boss stage of the floor. You can defeat the boss to proceed to the next floor. Monsters use up energy uh, when they're used in each stage of Galagos runes. Uh, when monsters reach zero energy, they cannot be used anymore. Oh, go back. Um, so yeah, it's a summoner. This says increase summoner's damage dealt with fire. I'm sure this changes all the time. I think that's what they talk about. You get like random uh, oh, magic orders, I think. Or no, no, traits of research is what they're called. And it'll be like a random buff. Mm-hmm. So. so it says magic order can be used to check the buff conditions applied to Galagos runes. Trace, re- trace of research obtained by progressing Galagos runes can be checked via research status. A Galagos rune season will last two weeks. Previous season info will reset when the season ends. Galagos runes is seasonal content. The difficulty won't be changed, but the buffs and debuffs will change every season. Ancient Galagos coins, gold, and refined stones can be obtained upon clearing Galagos runes. So that's just going to be like a stupid coin shop, and it's just telling you the stuff you could buy. Looks like there's going to be another Devilmon, which is nice. And outfit, too. Yep. Um, but this here, I want to talk about. I'm really excited for this. This is super, super hype. So it says equipment refinement. Um, equipment sub properties can be changed in the new equipment refinement system. New material refined stones will be added, which can be obtained from Galagos runes. So this is gonna you're gonna need to be able to clear Galagos runes in order to be able to do this equipment refined stuff. Um, so sky stones and refined stones can be used to refine equipment at the blacksmith NPC located in each village. The grade and enhancement levels will maintain, but new sub properties when refining the equipment. Oh, so it's just going to be a straight up re-roll. Okay, so it's like uh, how the reap stones were for runes and sky arena. That's kind of shit though. If you have one that's so good but needs one. <laughs> yeah, well maybe they'll have like engraving stones. I'm sure at some point. It seems like they're. They're basically taking some resort and turning, or sorry, Sky Arena and turning it into an MMO. That's really what this feels like. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. It's so good. Um, okay, so appearance changes. So, uh, oh yeah, they talked about this. This is just gonna if you have like have a uh, your shield right now. If you if you're wearing like a Twisted Mars shield or a Seal shield or whatever, that's the shield that shows. But like you're gonna be able to like purchase like appearance ones so that that's not the one it shows. You know what I mean? So you is can that, have it like... Is that what it is? It says the appearance can be changed if you own an appearance change ticket. You can purchase it with crystals via shop package. Like, that's what I would assume, right? Because you can already put on whatever costume you get once yeah, you craft it, right? Yeah, it sounds it, right? like they're taking so, that away from us, but there's no way. No, I'm pretty sure it's for the shield, but sorry, I could be wrong about that. Who knows? That's what I'd assume, too, the shield and the weapon. Or not shield, I guess it's the sub-weapon and the weapon. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't say shield. I don't even have a shield, I don't know why I said shield. Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of a nothing burger anyway, that's just cosmetic. Um, and then here it's just talking about the light harp. Um, I'm actually not going to go into this too much, we're going to do a video about this uh, another time, but you can read that before. Um, we're not going to get it right away anyway, so. Uh, and then there's some cool new transmogs. Oh, the cute kitty! Cute kitty transmog. I like the one they had in Skyrim, I remember it was like the footy pajamas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, the vampire one, and then... Oh, like a Valentine's Day ones. I get it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Love sweet and love sweet, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Okay, guys, this is very important. Uh, you should definitely read through this, uh, but we are going to skip through... Well, let's read the Kino one, because that one actually matters. Actually, one. you're right. Uh, so, big wave, uh, so deleted... So applied attack speed when the ally targets HP is below 30%. Added applies shield based on targets HP when the ally targets HP is below 30%. So shoot, they're losing the attack speed. That's from the water weapon. Ooh, that was my favorite part about the water weapon. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people's favorite part about the water weapon. Uh, okay, Stardust uh, decreases the summer HP when team member is revived. Increase the cooldown of Stardust when team member is revived. Added. Recovers the HP of nearby allies, including the summoner when a team member is revived. Excluding the summoner. I apologize. That's a big difference. Thank you, Chetta. Yes. See, guys, this is, this is why Chetta's here, because I'm done. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> excluding. So, it's just going to be for your monsters. Um, and then her dark boost ultimate decreases the summoner's HP when a team member is revived. Okay. So, they just got rid of that. So, I guess that's like a buff. 
Even though, yeah, not looking good. Same with the, same with the Stardust one, too. Decrease the summers. HP when K members were five, they took that away. Mm-hmm. And increasing the cooldown. The cooldown, that's gone, too. True, true. So they nerfed the water weapon a little bit, but it seems like they boosted the dark here. Yeah, and then uh, Earnest Prayer passive. Uh, so it's changed. After attacking with the skill, increase mana by one. Oh, it's going to 30%. Okay, nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, honestly. That was really good. They needed to do something. They need to give you guys better way to get mana because Orbius is cracked, so. Yeah, they just, they need to do the same thing like they did uh, with this one to the Cleef one. The Cleef one's got a really low percent. I think it's 15. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Accelerated Magic, uh, increase mana regen speed when HP is below 30% to 50%. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, it makes more sense. When you're below 30%, you're pretty much, like, you might be dead, right? Oh, lame! Good thing I just reset. Oh, I didn't reset that one, though. Oh, bullshit. Oh, they they nuked the revivers. All the all oh, yeah. those revivers, right? Peace, revive, meta. It was, it was oh, too brutal. Oh, where's my anyways. girl? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, same, same. Oh, I know it's brutal, but oh. Yeah, she actually from, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, 100% where the stats came from, but someone posted in Discord a picture that I really appreciate that showed, I think it was their monsters, I don't know, but yeah, she was used a lot. The Fire Mermaid. Oh, she what? She didn't get... No, fired. Fire Mermaid. That's Water Mermaid. Oh, it's the Water Mermaid? Fire Mermaid was up at the top. Okay, well, anyway. She was a, she's a reviver, so... Yeah, they mixed her in with all the other revivers. Yeah. Oh, uh, and my Archangel got clapped to... Dang! Whoa! Sorry, guys. But yeah, so definitely read through that and see if a monster that you use all the time is there because that is going to be important for you. So make sure you... Pretty much if you have any other revivers, they got yeah, you chopped right. down by two-thirds. Uh, summon altar, added button for checking the detailed info of monster with increased summon rates. Okay. Oh, so instead of showing you all the monsters, they'll only show you the ones with the increased rates. That yeah. makes more sense. Uh, own summoner mileage can be checked even if you don't own the scrolls. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I didn't let you see that. Before. Oh, so if you didn't have a mystical scroll, you couldn't see how many more it would take to get a legendary? That's not as bad. It's if you didn't have a legendary scroll, you couldn't see how yeah. far you were from a trance. Especially, maybe you want to buy a pack with a legendary scroll if you're going to get a trance scroll for it too, and you're impatient. <laughs> Alright, right. Okay, uh, party dungeon. So it looks like they're changing a bunch of stuff in here. Sunken and Distorted are going to be alternate days and then both on Sunday. That's kind of lame. Rewards have been improved due to the change. Improved or doubled? Because I get to do them less. So, uh, the same unlock conditions will be applied. Okay. The quest objective, bringing exploration ca- cast lands, support Sunken Rings, and support the Sky Islands will be changed from 10 times to 5 times. Lame! I had to do it 10 times. <laughs> look at the next one. Oh! The quest for exploration, so it's going to be changed from 30 to 15. Okay, well, at least I still have alts to do, T.Y. Uh, Rune Temple Coins will be added to Party Dungeon Seal Rewards. Oh, so they're going to add a seal exchange shop. Oh, sweet. So maybe they'll let you buy the Suicide Bomber bodies and Yeah, stuff. that'd be really nice. I hope so. Um, improve Entry button for Ruptures and Seal Tutorials. Okay. Uh, change some boss animations. Okay. Oh, good. Maybe they're going to... This animation Foggy was ridiculous. Prison, yeah. I hope they reduced it. Um, and then Naraka's attack pattern has been partially changed. Yo, what, can they stop effing with Naraka? I just got it down again, man. Uh, improve the map terrain and enable smooth gla- gameplay and Twisted Marsh. Okay. They didn't do that everywhere, but for mobile, but okay. Uh, yeah, I get stuck on, like, rocks and stuff all the time. Yeah. Brutal. Uh, and then support rewards have been increased for rates. Cool. So more coins, probably, because some of them was only like 10 coins. It's like, I'm, I'm going to do my support for 10 coins, man. So yeah, here's the increase. Oh, it changed it from, uh, look, it says currently it gives coins, and then they're changing it, and now it's going to give the equipment and the equipment crafting materials. Oh, what? And uh, Twisted Marsh is going to give just runes and crafting materials. Oh, so you can do one a day again, still, technically? Yeah. Essentially, but you won't get... From Twisted March, you won't get the equipment. You won't get the actual equipment, and then from... All the other ones, it's the same. 
just three times a week plus daily. Okay, cool. So they, like, increased your play time there. If you want to. You don't have to do it. But, yeah, I think you should do it. I, especially boiling water field. Waterfall? Yeah. And, uh, what do you call it? White Shadow Castle is really good uh, gear. White Shadow Castle also just takes, like, two seconds, too. If you if everyone is just running Hella and Naomi, it takes, like, two seconds. Yeah, Hella and Naomi and Best Dad or Argon or something. One person runs a healer just in case. Nah. Nah. All right, and then, uh, so there's some changes coming to Arena, so. They're fixing the camera. No, this doesn't make sense because they already changed this for us. They're just finally telling telling it they changed it for us? Is that what's going on? Yeah, that's weird because, yeah, we've seen that that's actually been changed. We talked about it in our podcast, We and, like, we got a, a Clyde send me a screenshot after. Remember I showed you? Yeah. We should have posted it. I don't know why we didn't. But it was literally his Juno only ticking for one HP because it was uh, at... It was his Lulu. It only healed for one HP to each person. Yeah, because it was, like, at this point. Yeah, there's, like, ten seconds left. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so we all kind of already know about that because it's already in there. Uh, two Ascensions. So current floor will be shown in Two Ascensions. You will be able to move to the next floor without loading. If you select, proceed to the next floor in Trial of Ascension Normal and Hard Result screen. Or if you repeat battle. Okay, so that's just going to like take down some time. Uh, you'll move to the next floor without load. Without loading, if you select proceed to the next floor, inspires of ascension. So I think that this is going to be their solution for the repeat battle. So you know how you have to go like next floor and then ready battle? I think they're just going to have it next floor, next floor, next floor. So it's going to be easier to do your 10 than like doing the extra clicky, clicky. Um, and they're going to do that for spires of ascension as well. Uh, you will be moved to the next floor without for entering. attribute tower. Yeah, for attribute. Uh, sorry, that the team formation. If you select, proceed to the next one. Okay, so it's saying the same thing. Uh, Spire's challenge status can now be checked. Spire's ascension challenge level info will be shown on the result screen. Still nothing about showing the bar in Spire's, though, eh? No. So, okay, like, I'm glad to see some changes coming to Trial of Ascension, but, like, that's really good. Sorry. I'm being negative, but, like, yeah, there's some major problems that are still missing there it's like not really problems it's just quality of life things yep and then uh hero area the time remaining until the boss elite creatures appear in hero area will be shown oh because right now we just have like a list in our uh discord that shows all the times when they spawn so now they're actually just gonna have it's a gonna have it. game. Yeah. good um and then yeah they're just doing some other uh the contribution we're now we've came to slightly more users. So I'm gonna be honest, like this, this is re this. They talked about it. It uh, it was only dropping leather to three people. No, it's not even about that. Like Power told us that they were in Ruggermertang last night at or the other night at twelve o'clock, and they could barely even beat it because yeah, it no awesome. one can do it because it's the most ridiculous times. I'm never gonna get that costume because it's at twelve o'clock at night, three thirty in the morning. It's ridiculous. I don't want to hear anything about Banff till they change that. I can't believe that hasn't been addressed. But yes, they're going to um, increase the leather drops, which is nice. Um, sorry, what were you saying? Should I apologize? I cut you off. About the, the three? They were only dropping leather to three people. That's why it, it seemed so brutal. So, like, if you got your costume, you got so lucky. Yes. Well, you're, you almost have it. Yeah, I do. I'm six away. Um, but yeah, okay, so, and then here's another thing, Battlefield, okay, so, um, so, it's saying that you're going to be able to enter, enter as a party, but, like, we already have this update, you can't enter, enter as a party, so hopefully they're fixing that, because me and Jenna have tried every single time. Yeah. No parties. So, hopefully that actually does change, um, because, I mean, I think it maybe does help matchmaking a little bit, but, like, if you like to play with your guildies or your friends, like, it kind of sucks, right? It, so. It's not any better. We've all lived through this now for, what, two, three weeks with not being able to party up. and It's not much better. Yeah, it's, it's no better. Um, And then it says, yeah, the amount of sky stones are going to be adjusted, and then some summoner pass stuff. Complete profession crafting will be deleted. Okay, so they're going to be getting rid of a lot of stupid shit here, I think. Their ruptures. Yeah, only one time. Yeah, but because they're taking that away. Mm -hmm. 
Um, enhance rune level combined weekly challenges. Yeah, that was really annoying daily too. Like, I don't want to do my runes and level up my monsters daily. Like, especially this one. Um, so that's good that they're going to be changing that. Um, end of a trial, trial of Ascension challenge will not be shown as daily weekly challenges upon clearing trial of Ascension normal. So they're not going to tell you to go into trial of Ascension when you beat the whole thing. Um, some summoner pass points. Uh, challenge completion rewards have changed according to the changes made. So hopefully this makes this a little easier to do your uh, weekly challenges and daily challenges in order to finish your summoner pass as well. It's just like one less thing that you have to worry about every day. Yep. Um, whoa. Oh my god, guys, I got I got trolled. I thought that's a 25,000 breath of life. I got so hyped. But yeah, okay. So they're changing that. Ooh. Um, and then summoner, when you successfully transcend your summoner, uh, summoners can be transcended to the same level for free. Oh my god, yes, here we go. Easy. Everyone's done. I like it. So what do you do with the transcendence pieces after that? I don't know. Hmm. I'll just grind so hard to get them and then I'm never gonna need them again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, exchange center, so you can use referrals to purchase gold in the exchange center. Oh, that's, that's not good. Like, that's really good, I know, but like, oh my god, people are gonna waste their referrals. Uh, gold cannot be traded between summoners in the exchange center. Exchange commissions will not be deducted for purchasing gold. Oh, that's cool. No exchange commissions, so you're not gonna have to pay the tax. Okay, and then guys, here's a bunch of other stuff that I'm not gonna read right now. I know, I'm a bad person. Um, and then there's a new event, uh, Rahul Kingdom Sweet Week. <laughs> <laughs> and then Gather Bittersweet Chocolate. Ooh, I like these events. I like chocolate. So just That's just the one where it's like, do your path of growth, do your whatever every day. Yeah, when I was pretending to save my tickets and then burn through them all. Yes, that one. Uh, and then here's going to be, yeah, we get this every time we get new content. So this is going to be for, uh, is this the guild? Gal raid. It's the guild raid one. Okay. Yeah. And then the Galgos runes one. Yep. Ooh, 10, 10, 10. I like it. One F. Oh, for beating all of like the first floor, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. We'll see. That looks like lots of events. Oh, and then this bingo events bag. How do you get that one? Uh, it's gonna be Essence it's dungeon. gonna be Karyos this time. Oh, the tickets I actually did kind of save. Nice. Um, and then a bunch of fixed issues. Again, I highly recommend reading through this or scanning through this to see if any of it applies to you. Me and Chetta will be reading oh through it at some point. Lord. I know this, guys. This I wish I could read everything to you and tell you guys everything. This is so much. You guys don't want to listen to me talk this long. I already said this video was going to be quick, and we're probably at like twenty minutes already. I don't know. Um, and then endings for packages and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. So, guys, I am so pumped. This is a huge, huge update coming in. We are going to be getting new guild content. We are going to be getting uh, just a new raid type boss content. I don't know what to call them. It it's kind of feels more like a Trial of Ascension. Type thing. The Galago Suits, yeah. It's like another Trial of Ascension thing. Yep, and it's going to encourage you to build lots of your monsters. So if you're like me, and you can focus, and you kept building a ton of people, and you have a ton of runes, then you're like, wow, yay! <laughs> yeah. I didn't waste all my shit. Um, so that's nice. Chetta, do you have anything? Oh yeah, there's a... Special challenge in the book thing, uh, in in game. You were not gonna be able to. I know. I'm... Oh. In the book thing, there's a special challenge, and they make you turn in like apples and iron and stuff like that, and they give you transcendence materials and skill up books, and it ends uh, when this update comes. So make sure you go check that out. So today, yeah, you have to make yeah. sure you do that today. But it is, just, it is just like apples, mangoes, iron, silver. It's all like just basic stuff. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah, make sure that you are doing that. Make sure you're putting in your codes. As always, what is this one? Uh, five star rainbow wands, some essence of magic, some breath of life. The, mm -hmm. Those four star rainbow wands. Those are the ones that I need. I need three stars right now, actually, believe it or not. Three star ones? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I guess I could have just been using the guys, but I wasn't. 
Yeah. That's the thing with the three stars, right? It's pretty easy to just obtain the guys to... Yeah, still, I'd rather trade those. Yeah, that's my thing, too. I'd rather use the Rainbow Mods and trade the pieces. <laughs> but, yeah, hopefully you guys are as excited as we are. We cannot wait. Uh, so be sure to get in your alliance that you want to be in. I'm not saying alliance hop, but if you are someone who is a casual player and you're in a dead alliance and you want to be able to compete in some of this or to be able to even do this content, then you might want to look for a more active alliance. Right. Right. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe as always, and we will catch you guys in the next one.